What you do is you grab hands with the kids and then you go in a circle. And then, you know, we were going too fast mm -hmm. and I was going like this. And I ran into the wall. Oh, so you hit the wall with your chin? With my chin first, yes. And then after that, as time went by, it was just deforming. So we call the deformity peau de range, which is an orange peel in French. If you look at the orange, there's like these little bumps and little indentations in it. So with Yasmin Chin, that's what it looks like, and that's because of trauma to the mentalis muscle. That's what causes the irregularities of her chin. When I was about 14 years old, we found a, a plastic surgeon. They took out fat from my tummy and reconstructed my chin. Did it work at all? Uh, I did see a slight difference. Uh, it was just a little bit fuller. After the time went by, it just went away. Yeah, yeah the fat went away. Yeah. Especially in an area where there's a lot of movement, and that muscle underneath the chin here, well, it's constantly moving as you speak. Did you have any other procedures? I did. I had one when I was 25, another fat transfer. And then until again, time passed by, and it just went away again. So nothing else after that? No, I have not. Is it worse now than it was before you had anything done, or is it better now? I would say it's worse. Yeah. Yasmin had fat transfer to try to smooth the contour regularities of her chin. The problem with fat transfer is some of the fat will take, some will absorb, and that really predisposes you to more lumps and bumps and more irregularities. They really should have focused on a procedure to try to smooth the skin and the overall contour. It just makes me feel very uncomfortable. When we go out, I'm like hiding. I'm like, can you talk? Because I don't, I don't want people to be looking at me. I'm pretty much like in her ear. Whenever we're negotiating deals or something with our business, I am really closing myself into a shell. When I do look at a person and I see them staring at my chin, I see them having that power over me. I, I want to take my power back. I tell her, OK, you be the face, go talk. And I am like the. Brain. <laughs> How do you like her saying that you're, you have no brains? How do you, are, you, are you cool with that? <laughs> what do you do? We have a photo booth. This guy's showing the pictures of himself. You could just bring it to his house and make a lot more money than at any big party, I promise you. All right. Anyway, how is this affecting your relationship since she doesn't want to do things to other people and feels insecure about this all the time? She just doesn't want to do anything. She's a homebody. I don't think Yasmin realizes that her chin holds us back. We could do so much than just stay home. But she feels that everybody she meets, that's all they see. What drives you crazy about your chin? The in indentation. So maybe if I could just even it out. It's not an easy fix. Obviously, as you know, you've had two surgeries, and there's a lot of muscles that pull the lip down. I really feel bad for Yasmin, and I want to do everything I can to help her. But here is the risk with trying to fix the chin in this area. One, you can make the dimpling worse. You can actually knock out the sensation to the chin. You can actually injure the motor nerve, which controls the movement of the lower lip. Or you can make the scar tissue more deformed. All these things could happen with surgery.